I call it the decide for your ask matrix because many people ask me, so how do I even decide what to say yes to and what to say no to? And this is a very big part of self-awareness, right? And another fundamental aspect of the book is saying no is not a selfish act. It is an act where you are constantly negotiating and balancing what you bring to the table and how you create value for others. And so the way the matrix is divided is it's got one axis, which is the cost that saying yes will be to you in terms of time, in terms of energy, emotions, stress, anxiety, conflict, everything. How painful is it going to be for you to do? And balancing that against the benefit it can confer on the other person. So then you've got this two by two matrix. So the first category of asks is essentially something that I call pass the salt asks, where the cost to you is very low, but the benefit to somebody else is very high. And so it's like if when the salt shaker is sitting in front of you and someone says, hey, can you please pass the salt? You just pass it along. Not hard for you, but you've presumably made a big difference to the other person's meal. But those are the kind of asks which come easy to us. They leverage our strengths. And so doing them is helpful to other people who need those things done. As a professor, I spend a lot of time writing recommendation letters because it's relatively easy task for me to do. But it makes a big difference to my students. Course, yeah. They get into their dream colleges. They get into the job that they want. So this is a pass the all task. What we need to remember also is that the cost to us is very unique. Yeah. What might be easy for me to do may not be easy for someone else. So recommendations my letters might cause a great deal of anxiety to somebody else. Yeah. It's a past assault as for me. I think that that's really important to remember. This is based on your own assessment, your own self-awareness. Now, probably the worst kind of asks are what I call bake your famous lasagna asks, where someone's asked you to do something that's hugely effortful for you, but the impact is not that great. So the story I tell in the book is someone is posting a potluck and that person says well you know you make a really great lasagna why don't you bring that and you feel stuck because you don't know how to respond to that but your response should really be no because (laughs) i'm not going to create value at a potluck with having spent my whole day baking it knowing fully well that everyone else is going to be buying you know store-bought cookies and stuff like that so it's becoming really good at deciphering what kind of ask it is. And the reason we need to say no to things like the Bake Your Famous Lasagna asks is so that we can say yes to hero's journey asks. Hero's journey asks are the asks which might be hard to do, but they do leverage your strengths. They do kind of highlight and underscore your personal brand and what you can bring to the table and are worth doing. Because even though they are hard to do, they also confer a significant and meaningful benefit on the asker. And so those are important. Those are how we make a difference in the world. So we need to say no to the things that don't matter so that we can say yes to going on these heroes' journeys.